Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Hey girl, hey. As you can see by my title, today I am back to share with you all MAC's newest collection. This is a MAC Powder Kiss Lipstick Collection, which you all know by the time this video is up, is available for purchase at maccosmetics.com and everywhere that MAC is sold here in the States. There are 16 Powder Kiss Lipstick shades. They are all permanent. They are not limited edition, so you don't have to rush out ASAP, but there are some colors in here, girl, that I just cannot wait to actually try on my lips. They retail for $19 USD. I first saw these in action at New York Fashion Week, and I just, I can't wait, girl, to get these on. Without further ado, if you are interested in seeing the brand new MAC Powder Kiss lipsticks, all 16 shades, and then keep on watching. Let me show you all the bullet. This is completely matte, not the usual shiny black mac bullet that we're used to so what is a powder kiss lipstick mac powder kiss lipstick formula is intended to be a matte lipstick girl can we just look at this we living i don't even have to put it on i'm absolutely living it just looks so fancy like oh my gosh so stunning just even in the bullet. I absolutely love it. I'm sorry. So a powder kiss lipstick. It's intended to be a matte lipstick, but it has moisturizing effects. So I know a whole bunch of you want to love the MAC matte lipstick formula, but a lot of you have told me throughout the years that they're very dry on your lips, that they crack, that they peel, that it's just not cute girl you need to try these powder kiss lipsticks out the colors themselves in the tube look absolutely stunning they have a little bit of moisturizing effect so let's get started with these lipsticks i'm going to show you all one by one and then i'm going to do a lip swatch for you all so let's get into it this first one is 301 a little tamed In the tube like i stressed it looks almost velvet which makes it seem like on your lips they're going to be super super drying but this glided on this is one application oh my gosh and it's so pigmented it's not like eh, kind of, no girl it's it's matte but again it doesn't feel drying at all which we all know matte lipsticks can be really really dry girl, one application I'm sure. Next shade is 302 Sweet No Sugar. I think in the camera it looks okay. I don't know about this color, but I have to be honest with you all, keeping it 100, and if there's any discrepancies later on, I will let you all know, but these lipsticks, like I'm living for the finish, and I love the concept. They're matte, but they're not drying. I actually feel nice on the lips they don't feel tight or anything like that but these smell like latex real talk i'm just being honest this is 303 style shock it almost just kind of glides on when you first put it on your lips you're kind of like is this even gonna like really show up or anything but in case you're curious this one is marange marange is an amplified cream and this one is style shock bright orange with a little hint of red is 304 sultriness this is just the slightest bit of pink on my lips i think it looks okay what do you think next is 305 burning love oh my gosh i'm already obsessed with this formula this might smell like latex but what i'm noticing and i'm sure you all have noticed as well the colors are really really vibrant but they don't apply necessarily just like a matte finish would like really bold in intensity i feel like yes you could amp the intensity up with these but i think just like one application like this is just oh and it looks so nice <sighs> is 306 a shocking revelation it's a very nice pop of color but i don't think it's so bold like oh my gosh i really need to tone it down or something i think it's just perfect it gives you that really nice pop of color without it being intensely bold i think this is something anyone could wear out next is 307 fall in love 
it gives the lips almost like a very nice hot pink tint to the lips it's not bold in your face but you can definitely still see that pop of color on the lips next is 308 modern o again this gives like the slightest tint of color but you can still see that pop of color on my lips 309 best of me this is exactly what i was expecting on my lips getting into those nudes next is 310 influentially it 311 my tweety look at like the perfect nude most nudes show up a certain color like either pink or more brown tone which is fine depending on the look that you're going for like a true nude though true nude obviously it's not going to show up on everyone's skin tone the same and also depending on if you have a little bit of color to your lips like i do but girl 312 impulsive this one definitely looks more of a brown nude this gives a really nice tint of brown to your lips really nice brown nude it's 313 scattered petals just the smallest amount of light pink tint to the lips i think this is actually wearable for me even though i'm not a fan definitely wouldn't be a fan of this if this was just the straight matte this next lipstick is 314 mull it over almost like a really nice rosy pink of course what is a matte collection without its signature red this is shade 315 lasting passion again it gives you that pop of color that your face needs but it's not so bold that it's like oh my gosh i probably shouldn't be wearing that i think this is more of a wearable red so if you're not really liking to go for those really matte bold mac reds this is a perfect alternative and the last powder kiss lipstick thus far is 316 devoted to chili not as bold as chili is on the lips but it gives a very very nice deeper tint to the lips Those are the pictures and swatches for the brand new MAC Powder Kiss lipsticks. All 16 shades. As always, let's chat it up. Do I think you all need to go snatch some of these up? I would definitely recommend for a sale. These aren't limited edition. Holiday is upon us, girl. And I know it's going to be a time where we definitely have to choose wisely with our coins. Some of us not so much, but your girl got gifts to give. So... I definitely am keeping this in mind. As far as my thoughts, my first impressions on these lipsticks, I really like the lipsticks. You know I'm all about that lipstick life, more so now liquid lipstick life, but I still am a complete sucker for lipsticks. I personally do like the formula, and I'm not just saying that, this isn't a sponsored video, but I know that not everyone will be a fan of this formula just like not everyone is a fan of the mac matte formula because well most matte formulas are very drying on the lips for myself personally i don't feel that's the case i feel like they're very easy to apply not as easy per se as like a cream sheen finish or an amplified cream now an amplified cream is very very pigmented it's very intense in color but it has a little bit of shine to it and some of us aren't about that life i personally don't mind the MAC matte formula is completely matte. I can definitely see it drying out your lips. So for me, that's not the case. But for the MAC Powder Kiss lipstick formula, it's a bit different because you've heard of those like cream to powder types like that Chanel bronzer, that infamous bronzer that doesn't show up on me, but I still kind of low-key want. That one like is like a cream to a powder. This kind of reminds me of it. It 
I don't want to say it glides on. It's not difficult to apply, but it doesn't glide on. It feels a little strange just because, well, for me personally, I'm not used to this formula just yet. It kind of feels like powder, but then I'm like, how does even powder <laughs> would apply on the lips? It's a bit difficult to explain. So I would recommend going to swatch them. Swatch on the arm girl, they look absolutely stunning. They really do. On the lips, completely different. Again, they are moisturizing in the sense that they are not gonna feel tight. They're not going to dry out your lips or anything of the sorts by any means. I really like the colors. I really like that they're not super bold in your face. I love chili chili is my jam but i feel like sometimes it looks just a little bit too much especially if i want to wear it to work i just feel like sometimes a little like yo like we need to tone that down devoted to chili is the answer i really really like it it's still a very nice pop of color to the lips but it's not too much like oh girl i can see you like hey <laughs> But again, that might just be me. You all might really love chili and rock it every single day, no matter what the occasion, do you? But I know that there are some of us that want to have that really nice pop of color, but aren't all about that super bold matte life, which I totally understand. Unless it's a super special occasion, or of course YouTube, your girl is not gonna be busting out like flat out fabulous, like on an everyday basis, but that's just me. I feel like MAC took very popular bright bolds like Chili and made it into the Powder Kiss formulation. And I really, really like it. Devoted to Chili is definitely my favorite, but a close second, believe it or not, is Burning Love. I really, really like these deeper kind of almost vampy colors but i am such a fraidy cat i don't know why i think i look okay or you know your girl is trying to look snatched on some of these youtube videos when i wear bold vampy lips i think they look okay like decent yeah i can wear them out but i'm just so self-conscious in that sense so i think this is the perfect medium for me Personal. Again, let me know your thoughts. I definitely recommend if you can check these out. How they feel on your lips is just very new to me. I'm not used to it, but it's not a bad thing. I really, really enjoy them. But again, I don't think they'll be everyone's cup of tea if you may. But let me know. I love the colors. Very nice starters. They have the nudes. They have chili which i'm all about so you know even summer colors mandarin O, style shocker i love it so very nice array of colors these are permanent go check them out wherever mac is sold i hope this video is informational you all know the drill if it was please don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up for me i would really really appreciate it there are definitely more mac collection videos to come so definitely if you haven't already click that red subscribe button you do not want to miss out they are coming girl i have mac girls collection palettes and matching lipsticks and lip glasses is coming out of course mac holiday it's finally here and that's gonna be like a two or three parter i'm not quite sure yet. it might actually be a fourth stay tuned i'm very excited about it mac is bringing out something super new this year that i am so excited about i can't wait to share with you all that video I have a collection playlist which i will link down below you can definitely check out to see what's been going on in the world of mac as far as limited edition collections this year or just previously thank you all so much for watching i hope you all have a great rest of your day please stay tuned for more videos always let me know your thoughts down below what's been up with you boo boo stay tuned your girl is back thank you all so much again for watching and spending some time with me i hope you all have a great rest of your day night lunch breakfast dinner i'm ready to eat i love you all so much and i will see you all next time bye everyone bye